So I'm doing some pH balance testing today and um, I have a whole bunch of products and this is just a few of them. Um, I just wanted to get the pH on some that I wasn't too sure about and now I know so I can move on with the next one. So here we go. Aloe vera juice is a 4.5. Um, peppermint Pure Castile Soap by Dr. Bronner's. Um, that is a 8.5. Woo, look at that green. Look at the, the difference between the aloe vera juice and the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Wow, what a difference. And this is my homemade shampoo with the Dr. Bronner's mixed in with the aloe vera gel and some tea tree oil and that came in at 7.5 which is a uh one was it one difference um so 8.5 to 7.5 um here we have desert es essence uh coconut shampoo is that blurry i think that's getting a little bit blurry right there there we go focus and the um that shampoo is a 5.5. Um, here we go with the Rim Pure Argan Oil Shampoo. That is a 5.75. Derm Organics um, Shampoo, which is a 5.0. This is some good shampoo. Um, uh, well, all these products I've used is good, except I can use this straight. I've mixed it, which made a 1.0 difference. But... All these products I'm showing you is what I use all the time. So I just want to be settled on the pH of them all. So after the shampoo, we have the Derm Organic Conditioner. That's a 5.5. L'Oreal Ever Sleek Reparative Smoothing Conditioner. It's a 5.75. My homemade, excuse me, with I, I if I'm snorting because my nose is clogged anyway um, my homemade conditioner with Aussie Moist coconut conditioner and uh, oils and honey that's 5.75 we have herbal essences honey I'm strong at 5.75 El Cheapo from the 99 cents only is a 5.7 I mean 5.5 and that's a conditioner hydrating conditioner are we blurry again? Focus. Um, cholesterol. Carrot cholesterol. Um, deep conditioning cream is a 5.75. My new fave, um, 1.6, which my friend said means 1.6 um, or 16 dot or however it goes. That's the new generation hair mask. Love, 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 love it. 5.5. Um, Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel is a 5.75. We have Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Repair Cream, which I use to moisturize and hydrate my hair. And I follow it up with my Shea Butter. Look at my fingers. <laughs> Either my Shea Butter or an oil. My oil mix. That's it. Just the Cantu leave and repair cream and an oil. Cantu and oil. Cantu and oil. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, that's a, I use that stuff a lot. Yay. See my hair marinating? Yeah. It's marinating. And that is a 5.5. And finally, my shea butter. Shea butter is a 5.5 as well. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to show you some of my products and the pH. I have a lot more products to go, but these are what I use on a regular basis. And I might continue to use my homemade shampoo, even though it has a 7.5 pH. It's very cleansing to my scalp and I can always you know I was told to go lower in your pH so if you start high 
5.75 and I can use a conditioner with a lower pH and I prefer this one, my 1.6 or 1.06 uh, hair mask at 5.5 and then I can follow it up with a spray of aloe vera gel at 4.5 and my hair will be balanced again. See? See how that works? So, keeping fingers crossed, that's how it's going to be. And thanks for watching. See you next time.